morning and welcome to a new video. I'm here with Jiger. We and Liv. We are Friday and I'd like to show you guys how we redecorated our living room area and kitchen space. Um, the last vlog we had that gray furniture with the carpet that we put downstairs. Um, so now there's like toys everywhere, but that's okay. I'm still going to show it to you guys. You'll get the gist of it. We got this gorgeous dark brown leather couch and all of the spaces, the, the, uh, it rises like so that you can put your feet up. We got this carpet here, like a black beige, different colors of beige carpet. And it's a huge carpet, so it covers the entire living room area, which is awesome with the kids. Um, a new TV stand. And it's a lighter beige, so it kind of brings out the lighter beige from the carpet, which is awesome. Um, little details like that lamp over there and this rustic mirror, um, this gorgeous painting of a pier, which is so nice and calming and so pretty. But um, some of my favorites that we've added are like these little things from Michael's. We have this little sign that says, be kind, say please and thank you, share, laugh, giggle, be silly and love. Um, we've got this lamp that I picked up from Marshall's, HomeSense, like a little vase, vase, vase this we got from michael's it says i fall in love with you every day i love little things like this um this vase also we picked up from marshall <clears throat> and then what's fun is actually up there we have a sign that says um kitchen originally was not supposed to go there but it just for some reason worked up there um we got this from michael's also it just says kitchen rules and it's super cute and very spring like and then one of my favorites is this little bread container to store the bread. That's fun too. And then we've got this little area over here. It says bloom and grow. This is from Michael's. And this table here from HomeSense, super cute. The detail is just on point. It's so rustic and farmhouse-like with this gorgeous lantern and this carpet. Um, it's made in India, this carpet. We got it from HomeSense. I just love it. And then this area here. This is exactly what I had in mind and I'm so excited that it came to life. We found these shelves from Michaels and it just fits exactly like the same color vibe from our living room frames and from our kitchen table. And then we just picked up little trinkets kind of to go on top. We have the Love Girls here. I saw this little mint bottle. I just thought it was so cute. This, um, I think it's like a flower pot. These flowers. Up here we have home, a collection of things we love. This little mason jar with this flower. Live each day with love. So I love I know I keep saying love, but it's because I really do. I just love little things like this and little items that have such meaning to them. And then lastly from Michael's, we picked up this that says welcome to our home. And it's just so cute. So we also have like these table naps from HomeSense as well. Getting our house professionally painted at the end of March, which is going to do this house so good because as you guys can see, we have a huge open space and then up here, the ceiling is quite high in our living room area. So it's going to be really, really nice to have it professionally painted. Number one, I don't have the time to do that. Like with the two kids, it would have been such a hassle instead of a pleasure, honestly. So I'm so happy that we can get it professionally done. Um, finally, it's been a couple of years that we've stayed with our home just primed because when we purchased our house, the wall colors were like orange and green and all these like funky colors. So the previous owner did just a primer. So as you can imagine, we have like different, like dirt on the wall really shows, um, different colors of paint are coming up underneath the white. So it's going to be really nice to have a very nice, rich white color. Um, done for us so that's gonna be very very fun so it's been feeling really really good to kind of revamp our area and whatnot especially because there's not much to do these days not much places to go so 
your home is your sanctuary. It's a place where you're supposed to feel calm and happy. And I'm loving having this type of spring vibe coming alive into our home. It makes me look forward to the nicer days weather-wise to come. So with that being said, of course the kids are making a disaster, as always. We picked this up, it's actually one of their Christmas gifts from Marshalls, and it's just like this little mini tent, and they have the balls that go in it, it's like a ball pit. But Liv loves to just throw them all over the house, and Jagger loves to use Liv's Montessori step stool here <laughs> to climb up. Hello! Oh, what are you doing? You're eating that? Yep. Hi, Jagger! 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 Hi! The other item that I purchased actually from Costco is the sand, um, kinetic sand slime bucket thing. Um, it was just slimy sand. Yeah, it was just twenty dollars. Really, really good price, and it keeps Liv busy for hours, which is awesome, because I am running out of ideas of how to keep my child occupied during this time where we can't really go anywhere or do anything. So, if you guys are new to my channel, um, I live in. Montreal, Quebec, in Canada, where it is presently freezing outside. Um, with my husband, my mom, we have a bi-generational house, and my two kids, Liv, who is two, and Jagger, who is one. And I am in the process of intermittent fasting. I have gained a lot of weight previously from a bunch of reasons. One main including medication that I had to take, which it just ballooned me up, so I am in the new year, I decided, like, heck no, I have to change my life. I've got to lose the weight because I am just freaking miserable. And I started intermittent fasting January 2nd. And as of today, I have lost 24 pounds, which is amazing because I am feeling so good. I'm even wearing jeans right now that did not even come close to fitting me on January 2nd. Like, there was this much space of not fitting. I was like, my trying to fit it and it wasn't fitting you know and I'm I'm starting to really see the difference like especially when I go back in my previous videos or previous pictures and whatnot um, I'm trying to always give myself grace and know that I obviously had two kids very close in age and that takes a toll on the body I am still breastfeeding my son and so there's so many aspects to um, dieting it's 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 just a lifestyle change not a diet a lifestyle change and you you got to dive into it with such a positive attitude and lately it's it's been hard i'm not going to lie like like i've said there's not many places to go and life is definitely not the same as it used to be um and having the kids cooped up in the house has been really difficult cuz the weather outside is just so cold it's just not you can't go for walks like it's just too cold so anyway that being said, um, I am going to make myself a coffee. One thing I've been loving is the frother from Nespresso. So I make myself a Keurig coffee, uh, just like a Tim Hortons Keurig cup. And then I froth some 3.25 milk. Probably should do 2%, but I don't have 2% because my daughter drinks 3.25. And I don't really drink milk to begin with, but I only put a little bit and then a little bit of the fat-free vanilla creamer And I froth it and it tastes so good on the coffee. It tastes like a dessert um, So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself my coffee um, Just to recap I my eating window is from 11 till 7 p.m. So we are now 12 so I can most certainly have the type of coffee that I want so I'm going to go ahead and make myself that coffee.
lately Jagger has been like pulling Liv's hair and like pulling her face, cheeks and everything. And she's totally getting what she deserves because she has done a number on this kid since he's born. Um, obviously, I mean, she's so young, so it's normal, but it's actually quite funny. Liv, can you get Jagger his mushroom? Yeah. Thanks. You're a big, you're a really good big sister, Mama. Yeah, that's where you have your yum yum? That's Jagger's? You hungry? You hungry? You want to eat? Fruits. You want to eat fruits? Yeah. <laughs> okay, mommy's going to make you something to eat, okay? No, 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 we can't open that. <laughs> mommy's going to make you something to eat, okay? Okay. Okay, you go play and mommy will prepare something to eat, okay? You want to sit on your high chair? Yummy. This is me. This is me. This is me. That's your high chair. You want to sit on it? This is Gaga. Gaga? Okay, come. This is Gaga. This is Gaga. Okay, so Yeah, Jagger's going to sit, but he's playing now. So let mommy push you back to where you belong with this high chair. Her new thing is she always wants to feed Jagger. And we just have to be very careful because sometimes she lands up feeding him like food that's, you know, cut too big for him um, I'm like a worry wart and so I would say that we do baby led weaning because he essentially eats everything that we eat in little tiny pieces but um, I still get nervous so um, her pieces are obviously cut um, larger than his like for instance a grape I cut it half like this for Liv but for Jagger I'm like panicky because he only has four teeth and I, and I cut it in like six pieces, you know, so I'm overly cautious, but that just comforts me. Um, so we have to watch out for that, but she's a really good big sister. Like as she's getting older, she has become so much more um, attentive to his needs, which is so nice as a mom to see because at the beginning it was really hard to see her hitting him all the time. during March break because um, in our area the confinement and whatnot it permits for 
a person living alone with their underage child to come into another family's bubble. So they came over, which is awesome because Liv and Jagger are just having a blast. But um, we went to a place called the Cosmodome. It's all about space and things like that. So the kids had a great time. And now I'm just at an appointment, but I figured I'd come on here and end the vlog and say thank you guys so much for watching and if you're interested please go ahead and hit that subscribe button um if you want to follow me along on instagram and tiktok it's the same as my youtube channel's name jasmina gurgis um i'm gonna be posting really really soon an intermittent fasting update i've lost 25 pounds in two months and five inches off the waist and a couple of inches off the hips and the bust area and I am just so freaking happy because it just I'm starting to really feel lighter on my feet and whatnot and so anyways all this to say is definitely um look out for my next video and thank you guys so much for watching have a great day bye